So Imad Mustak is the founder and CEO of the AI startup Stability AI. He launched the company back in 2019 and he went through a couple different business ideas for it. None of them really ended up generating much revenue, uh, if any, and eventually Imad just kept going, kept searching for a business that would work. It was summer 2022 that Stability really broke out, had a, its big sort of almost overnight viral moment. And this came with the launch of the generative AI a text to image generator called Stable Diffusion. This is a model which allows you to type in a phrase, anything from your imagination, and can generate a, almost instantly an AI generated image. I interviewed him three times, once in San Francisco last October when Stability had its public launch party, and then again in January in San Francisco, and then in London. I think I picked up pretty early on that uh, he's a very charming and charismatic guy, and he talks a uh, very large game, I think, compared to most uh, Silicon Valley founders. Um, he has high ambitions and is very, uh, very open about sharing them. Um, and I think that's really inspired a lot of people, both investors and collaborators, but also, you know, his own employees and just the general public that has uh, gravitated towards AI. So he's developed a bit of a cult following, I think, in a sense, through that. During the fact-checking process, uh, we found that a lot of things that he said were just very difficult to fact check. So I think this was kind of the uh, the first, maybe not red flag, but yellow flag that set things off and made us start to have some skepticism and want to look further into the claims that he was making. As we dug in further, started talking to investors who had met with Stability, started talking to former employees. Uh, we started to piece together more of the facts. We started to gather some documents. Ahmad has, at least since 2017, been claiming that uh, he holds a master's degree from Oxford University in math and computer science. He had this on his LinkedIn at the time that Stability raised their $100 million last summer. That LinkedIn has since been deleted, but we found uh, further traces of that dating back to you know, his past companies going back to 2017. Uh, where he claimed this Oxford degree. But in reality, we contacted Oxford and Oxford told us that he does not hold a master's degree, uh, he only holds a bachelor's degree. I think one of the big unlocks was we got a uh, fundraising pitch deck from summer 2022 that had a list of, I think about like 50 employees on there um, in one of the slides of the document. And what I found was that there were many people that were listed on that slide that did not have stability on their LinkedIn, uh, did not have any like publicly searchable connection to stability, but they were on this document and one of the people uh, was this person named Eric Hallahan, who went on the record uh, and talked to us about his experiences at the company. Eric had been an intern at the company. He spoke through the chaos of the company a bit. He had been slated to work 300 hours um, with the company uh, over last summer, and ultimately 181 of the hours, uh, he sent an invoice to Stability in August. And eight months later, he had not heard back. He had not been paid for it. I contacted um, Stability's collaborators that uh, on Stable Diffusion, their image generator, and I ended up getting in touch with the professor at uh, the German university called 
Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich and turns out that this guy, this professor had overseen the initial research to create the AI model that served as the basis for stable diffusion. He had a lot of gripes about the way that stability had marketed itself and positioned itself as being, uh, they had said in public marketing materials, the company behind stable diffusion. As this professor uh, told me, you know, stability would sometimes take an outsized amount of credit for you know, being the company behind this work. And then sometimes it was only after he had reached out to the company that the company dialed it back or, you know, gave the university some credit. One thing that was really memorable to me that he had said during the call was that, uh, if you have a large enough press department, then you can rebrand history in your interests. And got the impression that uh, that's exactly how he felt about what Stability had done. So we also got our hands on uh, fundraising uh, pitch decks. So these are like PowerPoint presentations, essentially, that the company presents to investors that they hope to put money into the company. It claimed that it had partnerships with organizations including the United Nations, the World Bank, the World Health Organization. They claimed a partnership with Amazon Web Services that in these slide decks they described as a quote unquote strategic partnership. Uh, they claimed that Amazon had supplied a vast amount of AI chips at a 80% discount to the market value. When I talked to Imad in January, uh, he told me that Amazon had cut stability a very attractive deal uh, that he said came with quote unquote certain personal guarantees. When I asked him for more information about this, I was sitting in the room with him as well as his wife, uh, Zara Qureshi, who was the company's uh, head of PR at the time. She shot my question down and they just would not go further on that conversation point until we changed the topic. We spoke to a vice president at Amazon who said stability is in fact like any other Amazon customer when it comes to uh, cloud computing. Um, and he shot down the notion that there was a strategic partnership. It was unclear like what exactly the arrangement was. And until we finally found a couple sources who were able to independently verify, uh, it turns out that stability actually was millions of dollars in debt to Amazon and that the strategic partnership that Imad had claimed was not really a special deal for stability. Uh, to investors, he had said that stability had as much as an 80% discount on uh, AI chips from Amazon through this partnership. But after reaching out to stability for comment, uh, they told us that this 80% discount is actually a standard discount that Amazon offers to anybody who uh, wants to be its customer. With a story like this, you always want to reach out to the company to give them a chance to respond to everything that you plan to say about them in the story. So we reached out to them in early May. They responded to a lot of our questions, but pushed back on certain things. But I think more unusually, um, a key element of our story is not just Imad, the founder, but that his wife, Zara Qureshi, who uh, was the head of PR, she also had claimed on business cards that she was the chief operating officer, and we found that uh, she was sitting on the company's board of directors after they uh, obtained their $100 million of VC funding. Imad took to Twitter and he also wrote a blog post addressing some of the claims that we had made in the story. I think Stability has had some kind of a skepticism from a certain portion of the AI community, I think even prior to us uh, publishing the story. Some of the feedback we've gotten afterwards is just a um, people being glad that this story is out there. Uh, with concrete facts rather than you know, being limited to hearsay and back channel. 
I think it really speaks to what's going on in AI right now because of how popular generative AI has been. Investors out here are just flocking to uh, fund companies uh, at very lofty valuations, throwing around tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars. Historically, you know, Silicon Valley investors have spent weeks, if not months, you know, uh, doing due diligence and researching a company and researching the founder and ensuring that there are no red flags and they're comfortable to invest. I think the big question will be, um, with AI being as hypey as it is now, um, how mindful will investors be of performing due diligence, of taking a bit more time to check for potential red flags at a company um, before going in on an investment.